guys, welcome back to The Lana Shift. On today's episode, we are having a very special guest. And that very special guest is me. I'll be cracking Mike's balls and reacting to how he defends Lana's pussy at any given chance he gets. In this first episode of the INTG Mastermind at Work, our special guest on this show will be introduced by Logan Paul. Logan, your turn. Why did you start doing porn? Logan, are you forgetting something? Her partner in crime. What about you, Mike? Yeah. How does a guy like you not be insecure um, in this relationship? Are you guys hearing what I'm hearing? When you ask Lana a question on Mike, if they don't know the answer, what they do is, um, can you ask the questions again? What about you, Mike? Yeah. How does a guy like you not be insecure? Um, Why did you start doing porn? Um, Before Lana gives a reason why she started doing porn, let me just define porn for you, for those who don't know what porn is. Porn is corn wrongly spelled by Lana at the age of 14, and she saw the word interesting and decided to eat corn. <laughs> <laughs> I never know the answer to that question. Really? I just like, one day I think I was like 14, <clears throat> and I just like got the idea, and I was like, I'm gonna I do just, that. No way. But <laughs> yeah. surely you were- How was that possible? <laughs> weren't you like conscious of what people would think of it? Like you happened to come out successful. I, I feel like I knew that I was going to be though. Like just at 14, I was just like, you're gonna be like the number one porn star, do it. Really? Yeah. Let's listen to what Mike has to say on Lana having the idea to be the number one corn eater at 14. She ha she thought yeah, about it the much. same way you did of being the number one <laughs> entertainer. That's crazy. <laughs> Lana was so confident about what she was going to achieve that she even went ahead to tell a guidance counselor at school. Who does that? Well, you told wait, them? wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. You said you were still, but were you still a virgin at this point? Yeah, I was. So it didn't make sense at all. Like I hadn't even had my first kiss. Oh, and you, wait, why did you tell your uh, guidance counselor at school? Because they're they're like, don't you want to focus on school? Like, don't you want to go to college? Like, you're gonna <clears> be a loser. Like, you're not gonna have any money. You're not gonna do anything. And I was like, no, I'm gonna do this, this, and this. And they're like, well, that's not gonna happen. Plus, like, you probably need therapy because who should do porn? There is something I keep hearing as she speaks. I think a micro penis is stuck to her throat. Mm. Lately. She started shooting some YouTube content. No, it's uh, not for YouTube, it's for Pornhub. Uh, but originally it was gonna... <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> Lana, do you know I stopped watching the news for Pornhub because of you? And because all of my favorite channels were on Pornhub. There was BBC on Pornhub, ABC on Pornhub, NBC, and I'm still looking for CNN that will feed my SBC. It's like it's like YouTube content, but then it has sexual. Mike asked Lana to tell us about it. Tell him, tell him about it. it. Um, basically, I decided to start shooting some vlogs, taking Por some inspiration from you guys. <laughs> porn vlogs. Yeah, porn vlogs, and then like I'm mixing like sex in with. Now defend her interests, but it's not like it's like it's like her and girls and toys. Like wait, it's, so it's all girl wait, and so girl. You're having sex with other women? No, she's not lesbian. Um, this sounds so bad, but I, I'm really like bored of like doing sexual stuff on camera, and so it's mostly I'm inviting young girls who are still <laughs> excited about having sex on camera, <laughs> and then I have them do the flashing and sex on camera and i'm just i just basically direct them really yeah yeah she does that with mike mike is a cool director you know mike knows the process of what these girls are doing and i wonder if she is a girl so mike tell us what she does in the morning when she's like having breakfast she'll like be doing a vlog she'll have <laughs> breakfast she'll take her shower <laughs> And but then, like, some girl will stop by, and that they'll be the one that like interacts sexually, and so that goes on porn to feel it out. But she's great on cam. I mean, she's great on. Yeah. I don't want to say I she's noticed. great on camera because most of the people watching this know that, but <laughs> in a different respect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Paul. Time to give a stage to Mike, and let's hear how Mike does his thing. You're great, right? You yeah, know, I love you, of course. But she's like, she's the breadwinner. Yep. Yeah. She got more clout. Yep. And she has a notorious past. Fast. These are three things that would terrify most gentlemen. In case you don't follow, what Logan Paul is saying here is that Mike is the bread eater, he has less clout, and he is the notorious boyfriend. She, yes, she has every single rapper in her DMs, and every single football player across the world, and soccer player and basketball player. Yes, like we, we know that. It's been established. You know, I like the way Mike comes out here with a lot of confidence and takes to Lana's defense. But too, Mike here shows an extraordinary character that every guy should emulate. But she quite literally deletes the messages in front of me. 
she's like you are you are what i care about you are the thing that i care about and you're the thing that gets me off come on mike how can lana call you a thing and you don't say anything are you a thing you know what i'm saying and so when somebody like her says that to me like what am i going to be insecure about you know what i'm saying like that you're a thing i hope guys that are watching this that feel insecure in the relationship can relate to it as well yeah yeah i am relating girls don't act like us they don't act like us they don't act like guys do guys are in a relationship and then they see the next hot piece of ass and they're like oh my god like i wish i had those those today and that today and that today the richest man in the world could hit up whoever's watching this girlfriend right now and if it's a real one she won't answer that message i doubt that you know but when mike says is it a real one and shakes his fist to me is the size of his dick so if you don't have the size of my dicks your girlfriend is going to go after the richest person in the world let's listen to the associate professor of relationship mike may like tell us more about ladies mike go on defend lana because she has a relationship with you she has a mental connection with you women create this strong uh, chemical and and mental bond to their mates that is unbreakable most part women are our mates they have a lifelong partner gene built into their their dna into their code and so even the way that she loves in the first couple months of this relationship is very indicative of the kind of person she is she does not care how much money you have how many touchdowns you threw how much rap you've put out in the past year she doesn't give a fuck she looks at me as the alpha of alphas i think there's a bit of exaggeration in mike's tone and the way he puts this is that true so mike do you have anything to say well, i mean i maybe i over to, went to, a little bit me, but mike's the number one guy that's what the alpha is <laughs> yeah right. um can i just ask a question like that basically like, speak for the commenters and stuff does it in any way bother you that your girl now listen to how mike's just cuts this guy here Without even getting what no jumper is trying to ask does he think no jumper wants to ask why porn stars prefer chlamydia and herpes to malaria because malaria comes from Africa. Nah, um, that she's married. <laughs> Is that funny? They're, they're t all right, so two separate questions. <laughs> so how do you how do you want me to uh, where do you want me to start? I don't care. All right, so so the ma <laughs> the marriage thing. <laughs> I don't care. My girl's naked on the internet too. The ma the marriage thing. Um, it is a different topic. Let's start. Let's start with the anal sex with the black man. And, and, let's, let's and start, let's, his name is tattooed on her ass. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's start with the second one. Uh, no, no. Oh, oh, is this, oh, I think this might have got too hot for LP. He's gonna sit back. He's gonna sit back. All right, ready for this? I'm gonna lay this out for you. We are ready now. Listen to how Mike defends Lana Rose with everything he has, and this is what I like about Mike. The shit that I did before I got on this scene oh, yeah. was so fucking dirty and so fucking bad that there is nothing that pretty much anyone that I fuck with now could have done in their past that would change the way I look at them as a person. Mm. Nothing, bro. Right. She, like, like, she has a, and then, and then another side of it too. Yes, she has a past. Yeah, it's on video. But on the same token, there is shit that girls we have talked about on this show today. Mm. Shit that those girls have done that is way worse right. than anything that she has done. She, 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 Lana has had sex with 15 to 20 of the world's biggest porn stars mm. who all got tested in the week prior to, or you know, two or three days prior to shooting. Right. It's on video. The online community thinks. That, that she's that just doing that on the reg. No, not even that, because maybe she was at one point. Mm. Do you know how many girls in this city have fucked their way to the position they're currently in and didn't get paid a dollar for it? Mm. Zero. I know. Zero. And didn't get paid a dollar for it? Mm. This chick made millions. Houses, R8s, Range Rovers millions of dollars to get to the point where she is right now where brands will pay her hundreds of thousands of dollars to do posts mm. and where she sells hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of merchandise mm. and so like i see all these girls at warwick i see all these girls at hyde that are having unprotected sex with dudes that haven't been tested since 2014 <laughs> and are out bodying <laughs> lana Rhodes exponentially right i think i support what mike is saying here but since it's not on video, nobody's talking about it. Mm. Didn't happen. It's hard for people to accept that the porn stuff is just work. What kind of work is this? 
Where does your customer sign? Or when does he get his bonus? Do you think you would be able to stomach it if she was actually like... No! The way Mike says no, did no jumper give him the questions before he came there? Or he has read all the questions about Lana wrote on the internet and knows just exactly what to say when he gets the hint. Obviously, you know, I've, I've had flings with other... Women? Pretty big, no, other pretty big adult actresses. Mike really has a thing for porn stars. You know what I'm saying? Like, that didn't go the same distance as, as Lana has, and we didn't have the same, you know feelings for each other Emily's but they were, at a different place in her life for sure but the reason is is because they are still very right. active in the scene and so like yo she has a past she took a whole bunch of fucking dicks just like every other fucking girl in this city mm. hers are on camera and i think it's a very i think it takes a very specific man to be okay with that shit i said it i said it on our show the other day if you compared her bodies to my bodies Oof, yeah Holy shit, bro. Not to f mention that. Holy shit. I, I, I have... You fucked homeless women, horrible, crackheads. Horrible, bro. I used to do terrible, yeah. terrible fucking things. So, I, I, so, three, so two, three years ago, she had a run that lasted eight months where she did shit to get to a point in her life where she's making millions of dollars, has bought multiple houses, has multiple business st revenue streams. How, who the fuck am I to judge her for what she did in her past and how she did it? Like, do I love it? Is it, does it make me super fucking happy? Oh my God, I love seeing you get fucked by four dudes. No. <laughs> but like, am I okay with it? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. so like, I'd be okay with yeah. it. If my girl had that in her past, if I was in exactly the same position as you, I wouldn't give a fuck. That's how you got where you are. You know, we can, we can. I just look at things differently, bro. I've seen it all fucking done, like done it, mo done most. Mm. And so like, then like to wrap it up quickly so he could come back on the husband thing is like. I mean that's an ongoing thing. She's got divorce paperwork in the in the works. you know in the works and right. it is what it is. And I and I try to have respect for that dude as well. Now that Logan Paul bed out of this show, let's meet with Jeff. Now at the Jeff's barber shop, there is something that happens between Jeff and Lana that I don't know if Mike actually knew what was happening because they kind of use Jonah as a distraction. You know, remember the episode where where Mike invited Jeff to the night shift and stole Lana from him? Here they take on the conversation and listen to what he says using a blanket. Hey, knock it off. I'm going to put the blanket back on. <laughs> oh my God. Don't make me get the blanket. Now he says he wants to put the blanket on. In this case, it is a condom. And Lana goes like, oh my God. Because she knew what Jeff is saying. Look at what Jonah does next to distract Mike. I don't think he has enough air to do that. And he rides on it, dick. And Mike sees it as hey. Hello. Hey. Is that, or is it hey? Hey, how are you? And the next second, Jeff is making fun of Mike by showing him things he wrote on the cardboard. A lot of research. We wrote down some questions. Just run them off. Does it bother you that your girlfriend gets nailed on camera? Dude, come on, get it off. Does it, does does it bother, bother you that your girlfriend gets railed on camera? These are just the same question, just with one fucking word change. I can't what? ask that one either. Does it bother you that your girlfriend gets I piped on camera. What the fuck is good, Jeff? I didn't want to ask those questions. They were disrespectful, I didn't ask them. You read them. It's not my fault. And Mike wants more dick to defend her woman. Oh, I mean, we all got pass. Right. I'm sure there's security footage of you getting piped on camera too. You spent <laughs> enough time in prison. You know Jonah, right? Yeah, the guy with the tiny penis. <laughs> That's right. I was acting. <laughs> well, it can't be smaller than my ex-husband's. Oh. <laughs> I have no Mike's. fucking comment, dude. And honestly, like... That's the only reason she dates me is because of the size of my penis, dude. Okay, wow, dude. I was completely right about Mike, dude. He's a tough guy with a huge dick. <laughs> <laughs> Lana, what's it like dating this guy? It's hard because I can't get over his past. You can't get over his past? <laughs> yeah, honestly, oh, yeah. it makes me want to throw up every time that I think about it. Now, this is the first episode of The Mastermind at Work. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a comment below and leave your favorite YouTuber you want me to poke fun of and I will do that just for you. See you in the next video. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.